Hello, students. Stop eating animals, stop eating animals, stop eating animals anymore. Stop eating animals, stop eating animals, buy other things at the store. Buy anything else. Only put veggies, fruits, nuts, and seeds in your shopping cart because peace begins on your plate. So open up your heart to the innocent beings who don't want to die. Now what's going on here? I'm afraid to give it a try. I don't know. Somebody's name is Ro Margot Robbie pushes her limits while eating spicy wings. All right. Apparently this channel is called First We Feast. So we wrote it down here on our little card. First we feast. We're going to write the good and the bad. We're going to see with this person, Margot Robbie, she's going to eat wings. Do we think they're going to be cauliflower wings? Have you ever tried cauliflower wings? They're incredible. I had them in Ottawa for the first time. I was out with a bunch of vegans after a protest several years ago and they said, come and try cauliflower wings. So you take these bits of cauliflower and you marinate them and you put them in this breaded stuff and then you fry them up in oil. I mean, they just, you know, they're not the healthiest thing, but they do have a center of cauliflower and you taste them and they're spicy and they're good. They're just so good. So why would you want to hurt an animal if you don't have to? So I'm really hoping <laughs> that this young lady, when she's, it looks like she's trying a bunch of different sauces, is going to actually be eating cauliflower wings. So let's have a look, okay? We're going to give them a check mark every time they do something good, an X every time they do something bad. I honestly have never seen this channel before. I don't know. This has 16 million views. So let's hope that they did the ethical thing and actually ate cauliflower wings and not chicken wings. Anyway, apparently this person, Margot Robbie, has a, a pair of Academy Award nominations, it says here, and a list of film highlights that includes Wolf of Wall Street, Bombshell, Suicide Squad, and many more. I don't really watch movies that much. I watch documentaries. I watch educational things. So I don't know. I guess you guys know. Birds of Prey and the fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. Okay, anyway, that was... This, that apparently hit theaters. Okay, anyway, let's get on with it. Let's see what she's up to, okay? You guys got your papers ready? Let's go. Um, <clears throat> I've never eaten anything so spicy in my life. Creepy music. Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm- Why do they say, what's going on, everybody, and then they don't even let us answer? What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. An animal holocaust is going on. Billions of animals around the world are in holocaust-like conditions, behind bars, terrified. They were raped into existence. They are continued to be uh, horribly treated. They are not given any freedom. Chickens can't even open their wings. They never see the sky. Six-month-old baby pigs are put into trucks after a lifetime of hell. They are murdered and turned into bacon. Let me tell you what else is going on. In the dairy industry, baby boy cows are taken away from their mothers. Kidnapping is going on. That's what's going on. They are murdered. Their throats are slit. They are turned into jackets and boots and shoes and handbags. That's what's going on and that's what we want to stop. Thanks for listening. Next time you ask me what's going on, pause for a little while. I'll give you a speech. I'm Sean Evans and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today we open up season 11 with Margot Robbie. She has a pair of Academy Award nominations and a oh. list of highlights. And okay, so he's going to say it. Mm, yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, so he got an X already because he said, you know, what's up or whatever without listening. Includes Wolf of Wall Street, I, Tanya, Bombshell, Suicide Squad, among many, many others. In her latest film, Birds of Prey, is set to theaters on February 7th. Margot Robbie, welcome to the show. Okay, that's, uh, this, by the way, was filmed on February 6th, 2020. So at the time right now, right now it's August 2021. So I guess this is all old news. But the point of this show is to talk about speciesism. We want to end speciesism. We want to point out people that are suffering from cognitive dissonance. And we want to praise people who are helping the animals the best that they can. Thanks for having me. What's your headspace like going into this? I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm, um... She's so scared. What is she going to do? Try to burst down the walls of a slaughterhouse? W climb barbed wire? Save animals? What is she doing? She's so scared. To eat? That's weird. I'm giving that an X. Come on. You got to be braver in this world. 
I have the palate of a four-year-old and grew up eating mashed potato. So <gasps> she ate mashed potatoes. She mentioned mashed potatoes. Check mark. Oh yeah, mashed potatoes are good. Just don't put any any milk in there. It comes from a cow. Okay, we don't steal milk from animals. We don't steal honey from the bees. We don't ride horses. We don't hurt animals in any way. Animals are here for us to love. That's it. They are for us to admire. They are for us to not go near. Animals are really here with us, not for us to use. All right? My tolerance for spicy food is extremely limited. Are all of these sauces vegan? They probably are. Do you guys know any of these? I don't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten hot sauces. Anyway, make sure you check the ingredients all the time before you buy anything. Check the label, check the label. If it's vegan, it's okay. Check the label, check the label. If it's vegan, it's okay. All right, I don't know if I should give this a check mark. Are you guys gonna do it? Are you gonna give a check mark for the hot sauces? Most times they're vegan, but I can't be sure, so. It's awfully dramatic music. What, why is there a chicken there? What's going on? Why does the chicken have a flame coming out of the chicken's mouth? Why does the chicken have an X? I don't know. I don't like this depiction of a chicken. I'm giving this an X. No. No, 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 no. I don't see anything good happening with that chicken. That chicken doesn't look loved. Ah, okay. What? It's very nice of you to do this with me, by the way. Thank you. What is that? Is that a cauliflower wing? Uh-oh, it doesn't look like it has enough bumps in it. Cute. I think it's only fair I meet you halfway on this, you know? Is she eating a, is she eating a chicken? Is she eating a fucking chicken? Don't eat chickens! Fuck. You better say it's vegan. Oh, I just realized I said fucking chicken, that's not good. I was angry and swearing, but the chicken didn't do anything wrong. What I meant to say is, is she fucking eating a chicken? It's better. I'm going to give her a check mark because I fucked up. That's how it works. I'm fair. Mm. I can do that. What's going on? Is she actually eating a chicken? Oh, I find is that she? very spicy, actually. <laughs> I'm not kidding, I find that surprising. <laughs> well, we're in for it today. So in the last Suicide Squad yeah. movie, I understand that you had to learn how to hold your breath underwater for five minutes. Mm -hmm. Do you have to learn how to do anything similarly daunting for this role in Birds of Prey? Mm. I spent a lot of the movie on roller skates, and we actually have a big scene on a moving carousel, and then I'm behind a car, and like, it's just really hard to do all that on wheels. Um, so that was very- Wait, what is this show about? I don't hear them talking about veganism or the animals. What is she talking about? When are you going to mention what's happening in the meat, dairy, and egg industries? No, I don't like this. Actually, very challenging. Um, but yeah, no, the, the holding my breath thing, that's like a fun party trick now. It's, it's just a nice thing to be able to say, like, hey, I can hold my breath for five minutes. Does like a free diver teach you how to do that? Mm -hmm. You would be able to do it too if you sat with him. him. Yeah, if you like sat with him, he would he would just, yeah, because he teaches you, you know, how to take a big breath and expand your diaphragm and all that kind of stuff. Really the most important thing he teaches you is what happens when your body's deprived of oxygen. And then once you know, it's not that scary when it starts happening. So he's like, so you'll have convulsions when you start getting to this point. And then you've got another like 30, 40 seconds after that. So just ride out the convulsions, then they'll get worse. And then like, this will happen. And then like, when you come up, you've got to purge and purge your body of carbon monoxide. And uh, some people might pass out like this and it'll look like this, but you'll be fine. So once you know all that, when you're like underwater and you're, you know, three and a half minutes or something and you start having convulsions, you're like, I'm good, I'm gonna ride this out for another minute. Like, it's just nice to know. 
Okay, that's very interesting. But this is a channel about veganism and the animals. So, how can we spin this? First of all, I, I got to give an X because she's talking and she's not mentioning the animals. She's, she's not mentioning any, any of the fish, the sharks that are underwater. You know, that's how she could have got a check mark. If she had said, look, the reason that I need to hold my breath is because I want to go under there and I want to film the coral reefs to be able to document what's happening with this planet. That would be one thing. Or the reason that I want to learn how to hold my breath is because I want to go underwater and I want to observe the fish without touching them without fishing them or the reason I want to learn to hold my breath is so I can go underwater and help save the animals from the the millions and millions of animals that die every year because fishing lines are brought into the oceans and tortoises and whales and sharks and all kinds of sea life get tangled up in them and they die strangled from this you know people worry about plastic pollution but if you really actually care about the planet, you will stop eating fish. Go watch the documentary Sea Spiracy to understand why. It's absolutely essential that you know the importance of stopping to eat fish because you can see what happens in these oceans. The oceans are the lungs of the earth as much as the rainforests are. We absolutely need to save them. So, you know, I hope she mentions something like that. I hope she mentions the animals or the environment in some way. Mm. Oh, that's yummy. It's spicy. But and manageable. Oh, yeah, that's definitely spicy. And well then, <laughs> yeah, we're getting towards like the threshold of what I've ever eaten before. I'm not. Um, I was actually just in Sri Lanka. And so I feel like I did broaden my horizons as far as spice and curries, but. But this is a real that's crash really course. Hot. Yeah. yeah. I think she said curry. And curry is a bunch of spices. And spices are vegan. So she gets a check mark. All right, so far we have three check marks and we have six X's. You know, she could turn it around. She could. And we're on number two. I'm scared. So Did she just say number two? Oh, we're on number two. As someone with over 100,000 unread work emails, I find it very impressive that you're able to wear multiple hats as not only the lead star, but also a producer on films like I, Tanya and Birds of Prey. What's a more nerve wracking? Birds. Birds of Prey. Hmm. Birds of Prey. There are some birds that eat animals and that's nature. And we can't do anything about that. You see, animals don't have moral agency like we do. We can choose whether we're going to be kind to animals or whether we're going to be cruel to them. And birds, some of them are birds of prey and they eat small things, small other, unfortunately, some other animals like mice and things like that. It's kind of sad, but it's just the way it is. You see, we can choose. We can choose to be kind. And so we must only eat healthy vegan foods. There's no reason for us to hurt animals because we can choose, right? So birds of prey. Well, they mentioned birds, but they didn't talk about whether they're going to be nice to them or not. So I don't know what to do. I'm not going to do anything. Part of the filmmaking experience for a producer. Is it getting talent on board or watching the first week box office numbers roll in? Uh, <clears throat> can I start drinking water now? Of course. Of course. Um, no time limit on mm -hmm. that. She's drinking water. Good. Water's vegan. You can have as much water as you want. You know, some people are crazy and they say, don't drink water because it belongs to the fish, but there's enough water for everybody. The whole point of veganism is to do the least harm to animals, right? So if we're drinking water, we're not hurting anyone. Okay. My lips are burning already. Um, the most, uh, the most, <clears throat> the most nerve wracking Probably the box office, because at that point you can't do anything anymore. You've kind of like, I mean, you can kind of pivot your marketing strategy a little bit, but really there's not a lot you can do and you just hope that people like it. And you and so many people have spent so much time on something that you just want people to like it or even see it. Like it or even see it. You just want them to see it, even though it might not be good. It's weird. Oh, I guess you her again. Has anyone ever been this pathetic at number three? You know, I mean, I can tell, I can tell that you're, you have a sensitive palate, Margot. but... It's not just my mouth, it's my lips that are like burning. 
But I think that the measure of it all is like, can you keep it going? Yeah. You know? That's I'm, really what it is. As 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 weak as I am with spice tolerance, I am strong and, and competitive and yes. determination. I so, can um, see it. So it's okay. And I'm going to save the milk till later. Till milk? Uh-oh. I hope she says soy milk. I hope she says oat milk or any kind of plant milk. I didn't hear her say vegan milk. Let's listen a bit. Like, I'm really desperate. Strategic. Not too much strategy. So before your career- Ooh, don't drink cow's milk, everyone. Cow's milk comes from a cycle of violence where they masturbate the males. They insert that into the females. That is rape. That is bestiality. That is sexual assault. Then when the females are pregnant, after being forced to be without giving consent, they take away their babies. And if they're boys, they murder them. And if they are girls, they put them back into the cycle of violence, forcing them to be slaves. Never drink cow's milk. Never e ever eat cheese that is from the dairy industry. Only eat vegan cheeses. And actually, the best thing that you can do is to eat whole foods that are not processed. That's the best thing you can do. In film, I know that you worked as a sandwich artist at Subway. I did. What do you think was one of the more bizarre sandwiches that you ever made from behind the counter? Say vegan! Say it's a vegan sandwich! Come on! Say it's a vegan sandwich or mention vegan ingredients! Oh gosh! Oh! Come on! Mmm! Probably the ones I made for myself because I wanted to try every different. Try? Try what? From variation. I think I was really good at it though because I you know, it would really spread everything out to the edges. Oh, she spreads it out to the edges. That's good. I love it when they spread ingredients out to the edges. But, you know, Subway's not known for their vegan options. Evenly, the right amount of everything. Took it seriously. Yeah, and now when I go to Subway and someone just kind of like throws it on right in the middle, like it puts a ton of sauce there, but like I just, it kills. Is it vegan sauce? Hmm. Kills me. Like I actually don't go that often anymore because I watch them make it badly and I'm, I'm upset. Do you share Harley Quinn's obsession with- What is that? Egg sandwiches? Egg? No. Don't buy eggs. That's very bad. Eggs come from an industry that hurts the baby chicks. They are put, they are checked to see what, after they're born if they're males. If they're males, they're put on this giant conveyor belt and they just flow down and they're just so cute, these little, these little yellow chicks. And they go down and then they fall and they fall and they fall and then these giant blades slit them and cut them into a million pieces and they're murdered. And they're only one day old. Why? Because they'll never be able to lay eggs in the industry. And so they're considered to be useless. Never, ever eat eggs. And even if they're backyard eggs and you think, oh, these are fine, think about the source. Where do they get those chickens to begin with? And where are all the males? You ever noticed how many people have chickens but they don't have roosters? Exactly. It's all part of this cycle of violence. That's not food. It's violence. Uh, I'm allergic to chicken egg whites. She is allergic to it. That's not the reason that we don't eat chicken egg whites. The reason that we don't eat chicken egg whites is because we don't want to steal and we are not thieves and we don't steal from animals. That's the reason that you state. We are not here to care about you and your allergies. We are here to care about sanity, kindness, compassion, empathy, so I love egg sandwiches, but they give me my <sighs> No X Migraines if I eat. So when we did the scene that she gets migraines when she eats eggs Why the fuck are you eating eggs to begin with? How does it make sense to stand there and look at a chicken and just stare at their ass and wait until the chicken eggs falls and then say yay we got something out of a chicken's ass let's wash it and put it into our mouths let's give it to our babies let's give it to our children our poor innocent children who are born vegan let's shove some eggs down their throat without checking to see if they give consent to murdering these animals don't eat eggs ever and we don't care about your migraine. That is not a reason. The reason you don't eat eggs is because it's wrong. We don't steal. Do you agree with stealing? What else do you steal? 
You steal eggs from animals. What else do they have in this life? That's all this mother has is an egg. Why are you stealing the one thing that she has? Shame on you. I actually had to make them with duck eggs, and um, it was very delicious. Fuck you, duck egg. Fuck, I just spit. I don't care. Duck eggs. No. We don't steal eggs from ducks. Eggs belong to the mother who laid them. End of story. No. What is wrong with people? You know what they should do? If she really absolutely thinks that she needs milk, just bring the cow in there and just go right under it and drink directly from the cow. Would you do that? Most people would think, oh, no. So how is this normalized? Not okay. Oh. I'm just hoping she's gonna change her mind. Maybe she's just about to and she'll be like, you know what? That vegan teacher would be proud of me if I didn't drink this. Just drink the water. Water doesn't hurt anybody. All right, up next. Damn it. Margo. Okay. We no, it's not okay. X. Mary Elizabeth Winstead. And she has a question for you, Margo. Hey, Margo. So I've heard that you're kind of obsessed with tattoos. So out of all of Harley's many tattoos, do you have a favorite? And why haven't you given me a tattoo yet? I'm waiting. <laughs> That's a very good question. I actually do have a favorite tattoo. So um, you don't really, you don't see it in this movie because where the costumes lie, but in Suicide Squad 1, you could probably see like a little peek of it, but. Is it a vegan tattoo? I hope it says vegan from now on and that she's planning to be vegan after this interview. But yeah, we're, we're not very hopeful, are we? Maybe she should get a tattoo that says stop eating animals. Does that make sense? Sure, why not? On her right hip. On her right hip, what is it gonna be? She has a dolphin jumping over. A dolphin. She has a dolphin tattoo while she eats animals. What a hypocrite. Rainbow, and I love that tattoo because I thought that to Harleen Quinzel, getting a tattoo would have seemed super rebellious and she had no idea obviously where her life would lead. How is getting a tattoo rebellious? Everyone has tattoos. And at like 15, she probably thought like the most rebellious, hardcore, but cool tattoo was this dolphin jumping over a rainbow right there on the hip because that'd be What? No, a rebellious tattoo when you're 15 would be to say, fuck you if you eat meat. That's a good tattoo to get. Yeah, end speciesism. How about that? Not a dolphin <laughs> jumping over a rainbow. How is that rebellious? How about you actually do something rebellious, which is to save animals. Go and stand up like I do and speak out on their behalf. Don't just follow the crowd and eat chickens and and drink milk two industries that cause so much harm getting an x for that come on get with it stop thinking about yourself I'm sexy and um that just seemed like something that 15 year old harleen quinzel would do so that was always my favorite because it felt like there was a bit of um history with it all right we have one more for you ella J. Hey Margot, one of my favorite things about Cassandra Kane was decorating her cast. So I have a question for you. If you were Harley, what would you draw on her cast? What would she draw? Mm, think hard. What can you do on somebody's cast? What can you draw that would help make the world a better place? You could write, love animals, eat plants, and that everyone else who goes to sign the cast afterwards will see that message. Right? Or you can write, eat tofu, or it could be order the vegan version, right, of any options, or it could be end speciesism, or end carnism, or be vegan fantastic, which is a vegan supporter, or you can write, don't be vegan phobic, which is somebody who's mean to vegans, who doesn't appreciate them, makes fun of them, like 
like pretty much 99% of the people in this comment section are vegan phobic. Be vegan fantastic instead. Have the courage to be vegan. Write down, be brave, be vegan, and start now. Write that down. Now remember, being vegan is simply about doing your best. There will always be some kind of non-vegan uh, items in your house or at school. You can only do your best. We recently discovered that certain markers have animal products in them. In fact, most of them do. But our goal here is to be as vegan as possible and practicable. So that means you do your best. Can you choose which markers to use if there are no other options? Well, you can maybe choose not to use a marker or you can use secondhand items which is what I'm doing. I have over here like an entire batch of all kinds of uh, markers that I collected. I already explained this in another video that I used to go after when the janitor was sweeping the floors at the end of the day and he had all kinds of different rulers and, and all kinds of um, erasers and, and pencil crayons and everything. And I would just pick them all up. I'd say, hey, do you mind if I take these? And he's like, yeah, sure, I'm just throwing them out. So I would take them and collect them. And if they had the child's name on it, obviously I would give it back to the child because I taught the whole school. I was going around and teaching English to French kids. But you know, sometimes they don't have a name on them and I, and I would keep them and that I have a whole pile of stuff. Um, so yeah, the world is not perfect, but you can choose to be vegan three times a day with what you eat, right? That you can do, because there's always options. Ah, oh, I would, <clears throat> I would, what number are we up to, by the way? We're almost halfway. Next okay. ring, we're at the halfway mark. Okay. Um, I would probably, I mean, if I was Harley and I was drawing on Cassandra Kane's cast, I'd probably write a whole bunch of rude words and probably draw a bunch of dicks or something um, inappropriate to put on a child's cast, because... What? Ew, that's weird. Why would you put a bunch of penises on a child's cast? And why penises? Why not toenails or, or noses? Oh, bizarre. How disappointing. Holly's not always very appropriate. <laughs> All right. You're talking about a character is not very appropriate. What about you? You are literally eating dead animals and 16 million people saw you doing it, promoting eating cruelty. Chickens are kept in tight, confined spaces. There are more chickens on this planet than there are humans. They are some of the most abused animals on this planet and you don't see them. Did you ever wonder why? because they are in Holocaust-like conditions, being treated as badly as the Jews were. If you think the Holocaust was wrong, then you must help us end the animal Holocaust, because the Holocaust never ended for the animals, because of people like you. Margo, I know. I said what a stupid contest this is. Who's wasting their time in this? What, how does this make the world a better place? And why are 16 million of you idiots watching this? Why the fuck am I watching it? That's a good question. I'm trying to find a ray of hope in this world that maybe somebody is going to be vegan and care about the animals and give a shit. Stop eating animals. It's not that hard. Oh, he's eating them too. I'm going to give him a bunch of X's too for every bite that he takes. I, I didn't really see. I think he took at least three, four bites. What a stupid show. First we feast. Are you ever eating vegan shoes? Uh, uh, vegan, shoes. vegan foods on this show? That would be a good one. If anybody knows of an episode where he's actually eating vegan food, let me know. Because, you know, it would be fun to give him 100%, right? For a report card. Because right now, unfortunately, look at this. Not doing too well at all. First we feast. Come on, Margo. Pull something out of your bag, like some broccoli. Pull something out of your pocket, like, I don't know, some, some kind of a vegan candy, just anything. Which one's this one? The Los Calientes Rojo. Mm. Halfway mark already. Mm. Feels you know, like halfway. And you know what, Margo? Here at the halfway mark, we do this recurring segment called Explain That Graham, where we do a deep dive on our guest's Instagram. So we'll pull up the picture. You just tell us the bigger story. They're gonna look at her Instagram. Let's hope she's eating carrots. Let's hope she's eating carrots. Let's hope she's eating something vegan. Because she can. Oh, please. Come on, guys. What do you think? Is she gonna eat anything vegan? 
Oh, one of these people is always just looking at herself. <laughs> That's me right now, I'm trying to eat these wings. Do you remember the internal dialogue here? It looks like you're suffering. I mean, I'm guessing the Rangers weren't doing well at that particular point in time. I'm guessing the other team probably just... Oh, who gives a fuck about hockey? Is that hockey? Rangers, I think it's hockey. No, we don't talk about hockey teams. We don't care how hockey teams do. They are just a bunch of grown men filled with all kinds of dead animals who skate around in circles after a little puck. How does this matter? Why are grown men doing this activity at all? Grown men should be out there with picket signs and climbing faces, fences and saving the animals. That's what they should be doing. And what the fuck are you doing sitting there watching? Sports are for doing, not for watching. The only time you can watch sports is if you're learning how to do it better yourself. Scored or got past us. And you played a uh, right wing for like- Scored or got past us? What the hell were you doing? You were just sitting there. You're not playing. Nobody cares if you're there or not. Stop paying professional athletes just to do something that's useless for this world. You know what we should be doing? Teaching people to cheer on saving animals. That's what we should be doing. Not teaching people to, to cheer on a bunch of men who are, who are just skating around trying to smack a puck. It's messed up. It's so fucked up, our world. Well, there's billions of animals suffering and, and the, there's ocean dead zones right now and the rainforests are being depleted because we are chopping them down to grow crops that we feed to animals. Everything is backwards. We have to change it. Who's with me? All right, one of you. Yes. Oh, two. Yes. Good job. I can't go. I was going to give you a check mark. I'm giving you a check mark. Through this, okay, all you amazing vegans out there who are here trying to fight for the animals, hooray to you. By the way, if this is your happy vegan declaration day, it's time to celebrate. If you declare that you are vegan today, it means that from now on, you're never going to pay for murder again. Happy vegan declaration day to you. Happy vegan declaration day to you. Whether you've been vegan for a lifetime or just a minute, welcome to the club. We're so glad you're in it. Happy vegan declaration day to you. Happy vegan declaration day to you. Everywhere around the world, animals are lighting up to thank you for your compassion and for allowing your heart to open up. Yes, happy vegan declaration day to everybody who's vegan. And if you've been vegan now for a minute, a day, a week, a year, it's time to celebrate, be vegan. It means you're kind, means you're doing your best. Does it mean you're perfect? No, can't be. Because there's always going to be things like some of the markers, like I was saying, are, are not vegan. And sometimes you might find that you're, you're buying clothing and you find out that the dye is not necessarily vegan, but you're trying to do your best. Okay, you're not buying fur. You at least can eliminate that. Not buying wool, right? You're buying synthetics or you're buying cottons and you're not buying, buying any leather or fur or, any, or any, anything that comes from an animal. When you're going shopping, you're only putting healthy vegan foods into your shopping cart. Okay, don't fuck this up by just only putting chips and coke in there and then saying, oh, I, my friend died from being vegan or I died from being vegan. And meanwhile, you're not even eating kale, spinach, bok choy, oatmeal every morning. In your oatmeal, you're going to put some nuts. You're going to put some dates. You are going to put all kinds of seeds in there. You're going to grind up some chia seeds and flax seeds and put them in there and stir that up. Put some bananas and some blueberries and some pieces of apple. Just cram in as many vegan foods as you can. Whole foods. As many as you can. An amateur hockey team when you moved to the U.S., oh, right? Yeah. What? I didn't know how to ice skate at that point because there's not... There's no ice in Australia. So, um, I mean, there is, but there wasn't where I grew up and I always wanted to play ice hockey because I loved the Mighty Ducks when I was little and um, I couldn't go play ice hockey because it was like an hour away. Why would you like the Mighty Ducks? You mean, like, is that a show? You like the show or did you like actually like a team? Like, why does anybody care about hockey? I don't get it. My was on Saturdays. My mom worked on Saturdays. And so I played field hockey at school. And then when I got to America, I was like, I'm in America. Okay, so she played the sport. Well, that's good. At least she's playing it. Okay, check mark for her. Good job, Margot, for telling us that you are playing sports, staying healthy. Good.
Erica, I can play ice hockey now. So I was good at the hockey, but not so good at the skating. Like I could go fast, but I didn't know how to stop. So I'd either just like hit someone or fall over, or smash into the wall. Um, okay, talk about the animals. Talk about veganism. Let's go. Let's let's pick it up a bit. This presentation is just not. It's not. You know, you gotta you gotta get more to the point. So I would say I was a below average player, but the team was very kind to me. Well, that's nice. All right. Yeah. Up next, here you are. I think there she was getting some more milk. X. What's this? What is she doing? This is the LA premiere. Mm. What was it like to uh, sit next to Tanya at the... The premiere of what? N a new vegan food company? Something new that's vegan? A new vegan clothing line? What? A movie that promotes veganism? The premiere of the world becoming vegan fantastic, becoming vegan animal defenders? <sighs> if only, if only. If only everyone started to care about the animals. Stop eating animals, everyone. And don't forget to paint your shirts. Paint them with paints that you can get secondhand. Okay, don't, don't buy new paints because it's not good for the environment, but you can get all kinds of secondhand paints. You can buy them, I mean, so you can get them secondhand by, by going to stores and just asking them, do, do you have any stuff that's gonna get thrown out here? People mix them the wrong way. Or sometimes your neighbors, you know, they've painted their living room or something, or even primer works, and they have like that much left. That can paint a lot of shirts. Just, just ask people. People are always using paint. And one day, all paints will be vegan. That would be great. And if you can find vegan paints, then use those. Boop. Golden Globes. Yeah. It was really fun. And, um, she was obviously so excited to be there, and I was excited to be there, but she um, just was not afraid to go up to anyone at all, whereas I was like, oh my gosh, they're so and so, oh, they're amazing, I don't, mm, don't want to bother them. She'd be like, I'm going to go say hi to Tom Hanks, and I was like, ah, oh, don't, no, no, and she would up the off and just having a chat with them, and everyone loved it. Everyone was really excited that she was there. It was, it was actually really sweet, but we had a good night. And then fun. finally, many wrote... She just drank milk again. X. I don't know. I, I, have we had enough? I mean, I don't think she can come back at this point, unfortunately. Look at this. All right, look. That's not very good. What do we have here? What is her name? Margot Robbie. Unfortunately, Margot. How do you spell it? M A R G O T Robbie. R. O B B I E. <sighs> Unfortunately, she failed. That's too bad. Margot, you can do better than that. And this show, too, you fail. Do not promote animal products ever on your shows. Never. Only promote healthy vegan foods going forward. This is your grade, unfortunately. Yeah. See that? How many X's do you see there? A lot. Okay, from now on, only veggies, fruits, nuts, and seeds in your shopping cart. Peace begins on your plate. So open up your heart. If anybody knows who Margot is, make sure you tag her in this and tell her that that vegan teacher wants her to be vegan from now on. And also the name of the show, First We Feast, you tell them they have 10 10 million followers tell them that only vegan foods should be eaten only from now on broccoli kale spinach rice beans vegan pasta vegan spaghetti show us some vegan mayo anything but not not dead chickens who died screaming and begging for their lives having their necks cut off for having done nothing wrong in jail for having committed no crime their whole life. You know, they are bred chickens so so badly now that, that they are grow so fast that they can barely stand up. Imagine that, so genetically modified. It's so sad. Stop hurting animals. Stop eating animals. Be vegan from now on. Thanks for watching, everybody. Coming up on the screen, you're going to see a bunch of other videos. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed. And if you haven't yet, make sure you watch this important documentary here called don'twatch.org. I know it has a weird name. 
It's only six minutes long and it'll help you to understand why I'm here. Okay, do you have the guts to learn the truth? Go and watch this. Seriously, it's your, it's your social and moral responsibility to know what you're doing, to know what you're contributing to. Don't just say, oh, I don't wanna know, I just wanna keep eating the way I have. Because if you were the victim, you would want people to know about your suffering. You know, there's such a thing as karma. All of the bad that you do to the animals, think about it. How would you feel if it came back to you one day? Don't hurt them. Help me protect them. Subscribe to this channel. Press the notification bell. Do you see it? Look for it. You press the subscribe button and then there's a notification bell. That way you can be with me every time and help me defend the animals and tell me your story. Where are you with the 100 clicks? It takes 100 clicks to become vegan. Where are you at? Did this video help you a little bit? Did it give you one click? Maybe you're at the 99th click and this is the 100th click and now you're vegan. That would be great. But mostly I believe that it takes more than just one person to help to veganize somebody. You need to watch the documentaries. You need to understand it. You need to get past your cognitive dissonance. Do your best. But make sure you hug yourself every day. Give yourself a great big hug because I know you're trying. Okay, I know that sometimes on this channel, I, I act like a badass bitch, and, but I know that most of you are good people. Most of you are, are, would really like to stop hurting animals. You just don't know where to start. At least I hope that's true, all right? So do your best and let me know how it's going, okay? Bye for now. Oh, I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna wait here while you watch the videos coming up on screen, okay? I'm gonna organize myself for, I think it's about 18 seconds, all right, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen.